On July 27, 2022, a runner known as Art Yours rolled an insane seed. Nine minutes later, he had achieved the Minecraft speedrun world record, or had he. You see, Art Yours' run and overall profile were fairly suspicious. The only two verified times on his profile, both on a smaller leaderboard, data pack modded category extensions, or DMCE. In this video, we will analyze the run and try to prove Art Yours guilty of cheating or the new world record holder. Enjoy the video. Our ears spawned on a beach and instantly went for a strategy known as mapless. The runner will use their party chart to see loot chests, then look around to see where the value spikes, and dig down in the 9-9 chunk. Our ears finds the chest at 22 seconds and obtains 14 iron, 3 TNT, some salmon, and 2 gold. He then swam back to shore, blew up a tree for wood, and crafted his tools. After seeing some granite on the side of a hill, our ears dug into it and found a lava pool. On the surface, this seems extremely suspicious, however, stone wouldn't generate like that unless it were on top of a lava pool. After building his portal, our ears enters the nether at 139, about the same pace as the world record by cube. After entering the nether, our ears spawns directly next to the triple chest of a bridge bastion. Bridge definitely isn't an ideal bastion, especially since our ears spawned on the opposite side of the bastion from the gold, however, spawning next to any bastion is extremely ideal. Art Ears mines 12 blocks of gold and then heads back to the triple chest to trade. Art Ears digs a hole next to the triple chest, aggroes nearby piglins, and gets 8 piglins in the hole at once. This gives him 80 trades per minute. After Art Ears digs a hole in the top of the bastion, which confused me, in all of my speedrunning career, I've never seen a pig spawn at the top of the bastion, nor have I seen any other top runners make this play, which makes it a little suspicious. After this, our ears locates a fortress using a different section of the pie chart used for block entities. Using this, he sees that the fortress is 14 chunks or a little over 200 blocks away and hangs a pearl in that direction. To hang an ender pearl, the runner must throw the pearl, and once it is a small distance away, decrease the render distance and despawn the pearl. When they want to teleport to where the pearl is, they turn up the render distance which respawns the pearl, and then they teleport to where the pearl lands. Our ears finally leaves the bastion at 428 and begins to travel to the fortress. After a few pearl throws, our ears enters the fortress at 450 on world record pace and instantly begins looking for a blaze spawner. One is found relatively quickly and blazes are being killed at 505. Our ears goes 6 for 7 on blaze rods, which is far above average. Our ears builds his nether portal and exits the nether at 618. After using a calculator to find the exact position of the stronghold, our ears travels through the nether builds the second portal and portals into the stronghold at 739. As soon as our ears gets into the stronghold, he uses another pie chart strategy called preemptive. The runner will turn down their FOV and open their pie chart menu to the same page used for mapless. Part of the pie chart will spike when the runner looks in the direction of the portal room. Our ears check several directions before running left and eventually entering the end at 759 with the very small window to achieve the Minecraft speedrun world record. Our ears pearls to the fountain, sets up his one psycho puller, and crafts his explosives, three beds, and two respawn anchors. Our ears turns around to check if the dragon's progress and is already perching. This is extremely lucky and only has a 1 in 13 chance of happening. Our ears runs to the fountain. Kills the dragon at 8.43 for an end time of 8.53 raw IGT with a 9.01 instant retime. This means our ears got a 54 second end fight, which is extremely fast. For reference, top SSG times for gravel seed are only a little faster, however they do not have the pearls yet to the fountain as fast. Overall, the speedrun is not very suspicious. A few weird plays and good luck, but overall pretty realistic. The next thing we will go over is Art Ears credibility. Art Ears as previously mentioned as only two runs verified on speedrun.com. A top three half art hardcore speedrun RSG and a top two Nova World SSG. Both of these times are on the data pack modded category extension leaderboard or DMCE, which is a smaller category extension of the main game leaderboard. Our Yours' YouTube channel also only has a handful of videos including an unverified Half-Heart Hardcore World Record and a 10.04 RSG. The Half-Heart Hardcore World Record run is still in the queue, however the 10.04 had been rejected because Art Yours had failed to provide enough proof of the run's legitimacy. 
After checking Discord, it seemed that Aryers had also submitted a 14xx that had been completely rejected for being fake. With a record of rejection and cheating like that, there's a very strong case against the supposed world record. Finally, on July 29th, the speedrun was rejected by the MCSR mod team because of lack of files as well as a low runner credibility, or as the mod team put it, there is a lack of older files, the instance is quite fresh, there is a delay in submitting files, there is a lack of any past attempts, and the run is performed by a known cheater. There are also some suspicious things going on with the links of the sessions and the number of attempts they have likely made, and timing of logs with some world files. Our ears updated his description noting that the run had been rejected, but still also saying that his run wasn't faked. So what do you think? I presented the evidence and will link the run as well as the MCSR discord so that you can come to your own conclusion. That being said, thank you so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.